And we're back in the shop for another week. Went to uh, English Mountain for uh, Virgil's race, um, Nightmare on Your Street YouTube channel. If you wanna check it out, he'll have a video of the full race and everything that went on. Um, the weather was looking great, so decided to go out there and, and watch. As soon as I get there, pop up rain shower, delayed it for an hour, hour or two. Um, got the track dry, started racing. Just about, well, I was gonna say just about uh, through first round of every class, but before, before that, uh, the place was packed. I mean, shitload of a whole bunch of spectators and the most, probably the most, the biggest car field uh, I've seen at English Mountain so far, um, which is really good being that uh, this was a weekend of uh, war in the war in the woods also. So it was a, it was a real big crowd. A lot of, a lot of cars looked like a lot of fast, small tire cars. Uh, had a good, good uh, amount of cars in each class. So I was real happy with uh, Virgil on the, for, for Virgil for that. And uh, some, uh, some people got a little rowdy, started a fight, prop showed up. And then uh, I'm not really sure how they can make everybody leave the drag strip but that's what was told that uh, everybody needed to um shut down leave um how you do that how you make the racers that paid entry and everything like that just shut down and leave but a whole bunch of uh spectators left uh, i waited around for a while got about one o'clock in the morning i guess and then to uh, decide to leave the cops uh, actually was leaving as I was walking to my car and um, all the racers uh, st stuck around stuck a round that I know of and uh, they went ahead and finished uh, the race after I'd left again check out Virgil's um, YouTube channel uh, nightmare on your street he'll have uh, good footage of everything the whole race so uh, but I'm back in uh, the shop this Monday and uh, I've already got the Silverado untaped in here in the main garage and I've already did uh, some buffing on it and I'll turn the camera around and show you how it looks. So I went ahead and ran over it with 2000 uh, just to knock the trash that I had in it and to try and get the clear a little bit more down to uh, where the all the little um, cracks was in the paint originally like I said in the uh, my past video of, of that and uh, it took a lot of that out of uh, it look it looks great it'll look uh, look real good out in the Sun uh, this color really pops but uh, as you can see there's still a few little places in it but I mean I don't think he'll complain about that Got the trash in the down here that was in it that uh, I showed in the other video, and uh, you can see the blend turned out really good. You can see just how uh, how much attention the the truck needs as far as the paint that's on it to uh, to get it to shine and stuff like the uh, the new paint. But uh, good good detail job, and it, she'll be shining real good. But I am going to, I got the radiator uh, Saturday, so I am going to start putting this thing together, get these headlights out, and uh, yeah, start assembling this and trying to knock it out uh, today so he can uh, pick it up this evening or tomorrow. All right, back in the shop this morning, uh, finished the Silverado. Last night, uh, he's gonna come pick it up. Today, uh, I was 
charging the AC on it and uh, one of the valves has got a leak. I don't have anything to change the, uh, the valves out. Uh, I don't have any valves or anything like that. So he's probably gonna have somebody else uh, take care of that because uh, I put a can of free on in it and it leaked all out. Uh, I'll turn the camera around and show you how it turned out. So here it is all together. Uh, he, like I said, wanted uh, the top of the bumper painted, grill painted to match. Uh, went with uh, some new different style headlights uh, than what he had on there. But the uh, truck turned out good. Looks pretty sharp, I think. <clears throat> he should be happy with that. And he'll probably come pick it up today. And then uh, yesterday, like I said, uh, Chevy 2 was going to be showing up. So it came. It's a, it's a car that's been around this area for quite a while. I remember seeing it race here at uh, Cherokee for a long time. But uh, <coughs> a guy from a, another shop uh, here locally painted it for him and um, I think he said when he picked it up he uh, got into his trailer with it and put a dent in it and uh, this quarter panel back here in the back I won't be able to pick it up on the camera I don't think but it uh, it flares out at the bottom that they mini tub this car and uh, the quarter panel <clears throat> on this side uh, on the back goes straight down and uh, I don't I, I'm not going to be able to pick it up on camera but anyway it is uh, it is flared out quite a bit <clears throat> on the back right in right in this area here it is a uh, flared out so what I'm gonna have to do is cut loose the um, mini tub on the inside and try and get it to uh, come back in um, reckon he tried to get the guy that uh, did the paint job originally and uh, can't get him to do it so Asked if I could do it, and uh, I was like, well, i give it a try. <clears throat> I know I can fix that. That'll be a, that'll be something that I'll just have to try and try and fix, try and get better, see if I can. And uh, as far as uh, painting it and blending it, um, I can probably break it right here and Probably going to do some kind of a burn in up here instead of having to paint the whole whole top and everything like that. So, <clears throat> yeah, so that's going to be in the next few days uh, of working on it. And um, I don't know, it, I don't think I've done any filming on this car before, but uh, we used to own own this car. Um, when we bought the house about three years ago is when we bought this car and I was driving it back and forth to work and everything. Bought it just like it is. Uh, <clears throat> somebody had a, a mild fender bender and already put a fender on it and a bumper and uh, never did paint it or anything like that. And I uh, I had uh, plans on painting the whole thing when, when we owned it. And then uh, I got that orange s550 and um uh brad uh, davis that uh you've seen him working on uh, stuff around here uh this is his son ethan uh we sold it to him he was wanting a car uh and uh he decided to have me paint just the fender and the bumper for now and then i'm going to uh put some more clear on his headlights because they're they're new for when we uh bought the car but uh even aftermarket uh new headlights 
the clear starts coming off of them like this because they're so thin and I assume that it's clear, uh, but they, they start looking pretty bad doing, uh, like that. So I'll sand all them, all that off, re-clear them like I did mine. And, uh, he'll have a good fresh set of headlights and going to, uh, paint the fender and the bumper for him and, uh, get him on his way. <clears throat> this is his only car. So he's going to, he's going to need it. So I'm going to, I'll knock it out real quick, but, uh, that is, uh, that's what's going on now. And, uh, I better get to it because they just keep coming in. So I got the fender all sanded. It's in there in the booth. Um, I noticed his front bumper when I took it off is uh, broke here on the corner. So I'm waiting to hear back to if he just wants to uh, still paint this one or get a get a new one and uh, and paint it. Uh, still not sure. He's talked about changing it later to a 0304 Cobra bumper. So he may just want me to just paint this one. But uh, waiting to hear back on him from that. So uh, I started uh, working on the headlights and uh, got this one sanded down already. And uh, I normally take the, the rubbers off these headlights, but uh, I'm pretty sure when I bought these for the car, uh, when we owned it, um, these rubbers come off real easy. So I glued them and uh, they're on there really good. So I didn't want to mess any of that up. So I just taped them up. And then uh, I tape up this hole here while I'm sanding and stuff. So dust and stuff won't get inside the headlight. But uh, I'm gonna sand, sand this one, get it, uh, get it ready, and then I'm gonna sand this little piece that goes down at the bottom of the fender. Get it ready. I'm gonna prime it. I'm gonna prime the fender. And if he still wants me to paint this bumper, I'm gonna sand it down and prime it at the same time. So I didn't film any yesterday. But I've got the 904 Mustang uh, Dark Shadow Gray fender front bumper painted. The new front bumper came in, got it sanded and ready, painted it. Uh, fender and the fender extension, it's right outside. Uh, put clear on the headlights, turned out really good. And now I've got the car in here, just got it jacked up. There's another piece. Jacked up and uh, I sanded my valve covers last night and getting them ready. I got some hydro gra graphics to put on them. But I got the 04 Mustang um, jacked up. I'm gonna start putting the new parts on. Uh, headlight, new headlight panel came in because it's broke right here where the bumper attaches. So I'm gonna take this one off and start putting uh, new parts on and new painted parts. They're gonna be quite a bit darker than, uh, than this because this color is faded so much on the car. Uh, but he is going to be looking at having the whole car uh, painted uh, as soon as he gets the money. So <clears throat> I didn't, uh, he didn't wanna to worry too much about blended in it or anything like that uh he just wanted to make it look a little bit better than what it what it did for right now so just painted the bumper fender and i'm gonna start putting them on now so i got the uh bumper and fender all put on headlights put back in everything uh you can see just how different the color is color is a lot darker than what's on the car just cars faded so much over the years you see just how just how different it is this is i don't know if i've talked about it yet or not but uh used to own this car and that's one reason why i never did paint the bumper and fender off i wanted to paint the whole car because i knew how how faded the the color is because this uh, dark shadow gray this is how it's supposed to be it's not supposed to be 
I mean, this looks more like the mineral gray. Uh, if you compare it to this dark shadow gray, uh, it's it's almost closer to mineral gray right now where it's so faded. Like uh, like this, the base coat is almost all uh, clear is all all gone, and the base coat is getting there, just like the uh, wing back here. But uh, he's talked about uh, wanting to get it all whole thing painted, so he just wanted the fender because the fender was real rusty and everything like that he just wanted to get it to look a little bit better uh than it did and it, you know the bumper wasn't painted before so i don't know it it, it still aggravates me to me having the uh different color panels on it but at least they are painted um on this side it don't look too bad bumper is a little darker but uh I know Ethan is going to aggravate him too, so uh, I'll probably look at th getting this one back before too long and uh, painting the, the rest of the car. But uh, at least it's not uh, a rusty fender and non painted bumper anymore. Car's going to look really good with a fresh paint job on it, though. <clears throat> so, starting the day Monday this week out in the uh, paint booth and I have a concrete pump that uh, Trevor brought me uh, this weekend and it's already prepped this one is a little bit different than the last one I did the last one I did still had the hood and the uh, fenders and stuff like that on it well they've uh, took it off throughout the parts are out there and uh they all go yellow the pump goes gray so i'm going to get to taping up this and get it ready to shoot the gray uh that way it can be drying pull it out get the parts in here spray the yellow it's a quick job i don't have to do no prep work or anything like that just tape and paint so this should go pretty quick uh so i'm going to start get to taping So I got uh, the pump all painted, it's all gray now, letting it dry and then I'll take it out and uh, get the yellow parts in here to paint them. All right, this morning I got the pump out, I got all the yellow, the parts that's going to go yellow in here set up, I wiped them all down. Like I said, I am just spraying this pump, they did all the prep work. Uh, all the sanding, everything like that, as good as they wanted it to, to be. You gotta figure this ain't no car or anything like that. It's just a concrete pump. It's gonna get beat up on the job. They just wanted all the same color and looked halfway decent. Uh, you know, stuff like this, you could spend hours on uh, making it look good just to get uh, beat up on the job site. So it is what it is. And uh, this is how it's gonna be, and I'm just gonna put some paint on it. So I'm gonna mix up some paint and start spraying. All right, I got the pump put back together, ready to be picked up. Uh, buddy of mine, Brad Royston, he came over, helped me set the hood on. Me and Rachel couldn't do it by ourselves. So uh, got that side on, uh, got it all bolted up, and it is ready to go.